moviegoers, this is Chase with Chase Me Channel Movie Reviews and today I am reviewing Paranormal Activity 3. Before I spit out my opinion about this movie, let's take a look at the clips from last night. Hey guys, it's about 11.55. I'm ready for the premiere of Paranormal Activity 3. I didn't really think that so many people liked this movie, but apparently because I'm one out of a million people here. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay. I'm about to go into the theater. I may not come out alive, but I'm gonna be brave. <laughs> the storyline is based on the original two sisters of the first two movies when they were children. This movie ties all the stories together, gives us some more ghostly action, and kind of loosely explains why they are haunted in the first place. The movie follows the girls, the girls' mom, and the mom's boyfriend as they experience some crazy paranormal activity. I enjoyed the storyline, it was very interesting, but it was a little bit hard to follow, and the whole story didn't really make a full circle and sum everything up like I wish it would have. I'm still kind of confused about some parts. I give this confusing but interesting storyline a 7 out of 10. In the TV advertisements, they show a bunch of people in the theater just freaking out at everything and they're just like, oh, ah, and cuddling up to their boyfriends or their girlfriends in some cases. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I gotta see that movie because it looks freaky because everyone is just freaking out in the theater. I gotta see it. Was it actually that scary? Well, it almost was. Actually, there was lots of people just freaking out in the theater. There's lots of jump scenes and there was lots of scenes that actually freaked me out too. And that's actually coming from, you know, well, a man. I think this is by far the scariest paranormal activity. There was lots of elements of surprise and there was more horrifying images than the first two. I was even, it was kind of even hard for me to fall asleep. I had to think of candy and roses. I give suspense an 8.5 out of 10. The whole mood of this movie was a little bit different than the first two because the special effects were a lot more sophisticated and a lot more elaborate. Some of the ghost scenes were a little bit too over the top and cheesy, but some of them were just creepy. The crazy special effects in this movie kind of took away from the subtleness of the uh, first two films, but it did make it actually a little bit more interesting and entertaining. I give special effects a 7.5 out of 10. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting too much for this movie. I figured they really couldn't do much more than I'd already seen in the previous two. Plus, I was skeptical about how scary it was supposedly supposed to be. But for the most part, I was wrong. I enjoyed this film. It kept me on the edge of my seat, and it was both fun and terrifying. The ending left me hanging with a little bit too many questions, and there were some parts I wish they would have shown more of. But this is my favorite paranormal activity movie, and one of the best scary movies I've seen in a long time. I give this film an overall rating an 8 out of 10. So did you guys like the movie? Uh, yeah. I don't think you did. No, I liked it, but it hurt my soul just to watch it. Hurt your soul? <laughs> it was a pretty good movie. Did you like it? Paranormal activities have always scared me. Most yeah. people say they don't, and they've always scared me. And that one, topped them off. Yeah, that thing was very interesting. It's better than all of them that I've seen. Yeah? yeah. It was better than all the rest, but yeah. Yeah. I recommend it. A rating from 1 to 10, how scary was it? I'd give that a solid 8. I'd say it was a 10. It's 10? For me at least, yeah. Well, I'd put it at a, at a 7. For me, it's pretty much a 10, yeah. It's about as scary as it gets right. for me. Right. Like a 6? 6? For me, it was like a 10, because I was ten? pretty terrified. I was covering my eyes. So you were screaming so, in the theater. Yeah, I was kind of terrified. Yeah. I'll admit that. Yeah. Should people go see this? Yes. Oh, yeah, I recommend it. Yeah. Definitely. Question time. If there's a ghost in your room, what would you do? I know that I would run away screaming and I probably wouldn't take the time to film it. I'd be gone. I'd be gone. I'd be gone. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to me if you want to see more and chase me on Facebook and Twitter. And in this movie. And there's a few modernizations like iPod and some rap music. But besides that, the whole storyline pretty much sticks to the